Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So really, really quickly, I want to apologize for being gone for the last couple of weeks. Um, I was dealing with a lot of stress and then on top of all the stress that I was dealing with, my laptop broke. So there's that, um, but it's repaired now and everything is fine and I will be posting on my regular schedule um, once a week, every Thursday. Hopefully, now that I'm on break, I'll be posting uh, possibly twice a week, but I'm not sure about that. But yeah, um, but today's video is going to be about mama since it just happened. And we are going to be talking about the most heavily debated topic, song of the year and who really deserved it. Now I did debate doing a whole video on all of the awards at mama, um, but I decided against it because I felt like aside from song of the year, I didn't really have any quote unquote controversial opinions. Um, like I feel like I would just be like, reiterating what everybody else has already said and nobody needs to hear that um, but i really wanted to focus on song of the year because i feel like my opinion is in the minority but yeah let's just get into it so i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for it um i got a lot of hate on my instagram for saying this but i wholeheartedly believe that boy with love deserved song of the year I know a lot of people were mad that Fancy didn't win, and honestly, I do prefer Fancy as a song over Boy With Love, but I 100% believe that BTS deserved to win Song of the Year for Boy With Love. A lot of people were genuinely surprised that Fancy didn't win, and I feel like I was one of the only people who wasn't. Like, if you look at the numbers and the impact Boy With Love had compared to Fancy, it makes sense why Boy With Love would win. And I know a lot of people outside of the fandom didn't really like Boy With Love, but I mean, despite all that, it was easily the most popular comeback this year. It was the first song to hit a PAK in 2019. They received the most music show wins since the start of the 2000s. They even broke three Guinness World Records with the release of Boy With Love alone. It literally has way too many achievements for you to list in this video. But if you do your research, it's clear that Boy With Love was undeniably more impactful than any other comeback this year. So I know a lot of people are going to say stuff like, well, everybody loved Fancy and a lot of people didn't like Boy With Love and Fancy is song of the year because even non once is like the song. This is definitely true. Um, like I said, I personally, oh, my voice just cracked. But like I said, I personally liked Fancy more as a song than I liked Boy With Love as a song. And I honestly listen to it way more frequently. But this situation brings us back to Mama 2017 when people were mad that Signal won over Red Flavor. Twice got a lot of shit for winning Song of the Year over Red Flavor, but when people actually did their research, it became clear that Signal was more successful than Red Flavor. So yes, people did prefer Red Flavor, but Signal was undeniably more successful, which is why it won, just like Boy With Love and Fancy. This is a problem I really want to point out because every single year we deal with the same thing. People getting mad over song of the year because they think it didn't deserve it because it was less talked about on Stan Twitter. It's just like bandwagon standing a group or soloist. Just because a song is talked about a lot doesn't make it the most successful song. A lot of K-pop stands mistake a song being talked about a lot on Stan Twitter for popularity. But the fact is that it doesn't matter how many people were talking about what a great song Fancy was when it just didn't have the numbers and impact to compete with Boy With Love. And plenty of people have been making the argument, well, Song of the Year shouldn't be based on popularity, then it should be based on the quality of the song, blah, 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 blah. Which, in my opinion, is just a cop-out way of saying that my group should have won even though they didn't meet their criteria. Awards at MAMA have always been based on popularity. It's always been the biggest groups in the industry competing for awards. And before BTS rose to their popularity, nobody had a problem when the same groups were sweeping all the awards every single year. So why does everybody suddenly care now that BTS are doing all the winning? And I also just want to rant a little bit because as most of y'all know, I am an ARMY and a lot of people have been giving BTS shit over this. So a lot of people have been saying that because Boy With Love won over Fancy that MAMA is rigged. Number one, we've been knew MAMA was rigged, but nobody cared about that until BTS started winning all of the awards. And this is just so childish because like I said, before BTS got popular, no one had a problem with the same groups taking home all of the awards, 
But now y'all suddenly care about award shows being rigged now that it's no longer your faves taking home all of the awards. EXO practically owned Album of the Year for five years straight, yet there wasn't nearly as much outrage over that as there is every single time BTS wins something, which just shows that y'all don't care about groups monopolizing an award, you just care about which groups are monopolizing awards. And number two, BTS literally cannot win anything without K-pop stands slithering out of their holes to whine about how unfair it is for them to win and how BTS should let other groups win. BTS deserve every ounce of success that they have, and it's unfortunate that every single time they achieve something, BTS and armies can't celebrate without K-pop stands whining about how they don't deserve it or how another group deserves it more or how the award show is rigged. So I, as an ARMY, refuse to take any of those complaints seriously and I suggest other armies do the same because at this point, it's like a hobby for some people. People complain anytime BTS do something and I'm tired of listening to it. But yeah, <laughs> that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry it's kind of short but I just wanted to throw in my two cents. And yeah, that's all. Love you guys. I will see you on my next one. Bye.